Well, hello there, and welcome to cplives.com. This week's passion interview is focused on a goddess yogini, entrepreneur, pioneer by the name of Ava Taylor. And Ava is the first founder of the world's first yoga artist management talent agency. How brilliant is that? Um, I got a chance to meet up with Ava at the Laughing Lotus studio here in New York City, and we got a chance to talk, and she shares some of her passions, offers some tips on living a vibrant life, and, um, you know, it's easy, folks. Just remember to live the story you wish to tell. See you soon. Yama Talent is my way of serving, um, something that I'm passionate about, basically. I mean, you know, yoga so profoundly changed my life that I, I became committed to helping spread the information and spread the tools. And the way that I found to do that in specific is through supporting yoga teachers um, so that they are able to thrive and not just survive in the modern world while they're trying to uh, to teach and give these gifts. It comes really naturally to me to sort of be the support role for the, for the teachers. I really enjoy it. Um, but I have become extremely, extremely passionate about caring for the teachers and helping be the sort of behind the scenes that really helps them be able to step into whatever teaching environment they're in and really shine. I remember falling in love with yoga. I usually say um, the moment that yoga finds you, um, you know, because it, it, you know, it clicks. There's this, there's a, there is, there's a moment where you're like, okay, I'm really willing to put in this time and do this work and be dedicated. When Granny died, I just, it was all yoga. It was all I could do to, to function. I couldn't even, I couldn't function. And um, when I realized the power of the tools and the power of the system and how it helped me get through a really difficult period, then that was, that was when I really found yoga and that was when I then actually decided I was going to start doing something to help share it with other people um, because it, it's, a, you know, life is life and to have those tools to reach for, you know, when it gets tough um, is incredible. So that's, that's when yoga found me. What is your favorite thing to think about? Ever? My, my favorite thing to think about? <laughs> Do you really want to know? Being vibrant and being passionate about life isn't some big huge thing you have to go like live in an ashram for two months or go jump off the roof and bungee jump or do these big drastic things. It's actually just fine tuning um, your life and giving yourself time to think about what in your mind you want to change. Like take some time for yourself. It's just huge because if you don't have an opportunity to really think um, and reflect on what's important to you, you can't figure out what you need to tweak. You know, it's like you can't, you can't decide what you need a little bit more of to make you that much more happy or, um, you know, unless you spend some quiet time with yourself. Moderation is huge, you know, having a little bit of discipline with whatever it is that you're doing, whether that's what time you're getting in bed at night, um, what foods you're eating, are you still hanging out with those friends from high school that don't do anything for you anymore, are you moving your body, is your living space in an orderly fashion so you can think happiness and passion, and they're, they're, it's a choice, you know, it's something that you can choose to be happy, at least that's what I believe. And um, I try to surround myself with people that also believe that we have choice. New York, actually, which is incredible because I'm here, it's like, it's my home. But New York is actually incredibly inspiring for me as well. And it, there's like little adventures all over the place. So we, we try to make a conscious, you know, effort to go somewhere that we don't normally go. Like last night we were in, at Har in Harlem in a little jazz club and just like dancing like crazy people. I, I try to go on a little mini vacay sometime during the week just to stay, to stay inspired and to stay passionate.